Okay, so let's uh, talk about iterators. So the thing is about iterators is that they're not difficult to understand, but let me just show you a different language. So this is how generators work in Python. You have a function, right? Then you yield some number, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? So as soon as you yield, this function pauses and waits for you to call this function again to return the next number. Um, and this is how it is, and this is how iterators work and go. So we have a function that returns a function, which takes a function that takes a value and returns a boolean, right? And you should be naming this uh, function yield. So just to clarify, this yield function is not defined by you, right? All you know about it is that it's a function that takes an integer and returns a boolean. Now, uh, this is my example, right? So in my example, it, return, it, it takes an integer. Uh, in other examples, you can have it take a generic, but in mine, I just, uh, I just kept the types because I want it to be uh, easier to understand. Uh, but in all examples, it will return a boolean, right? So, so then what you do is you call yield and you provide it with some value, right? And that is, this is not a complete example of an iterator, but it's the simplest one I could come up with. So let's just run this to see how it works. So as you can see down here, we have a for loop and we get one, we print this out and it just stops, right? So this for loop stops. So let's take a look at why this uh, yield function returns a Boolean, right? So what does it return true or false? So we have a function and what this function does is it returns to us a function we are calling yield with a one, yield with a two and yield with a three. Right. So keep in mind when we're passing in this one, right, what's happening is we are yielding this one to our for loop. But uh, when I run this, it's actually going to run into an error, right? So if I didn't have a break here, let me just run this without the break first. As you can see, and that's it's fine, right? So we get one, two and three. That's fine, perfect. But if I add this break here and run this again, as you can see, we get a runtime error. And we get a runtime error because this yield is going to return to you a Boolean, right? It's going to return to you a Boolean telling you whether or not this for loop is still running. So the reason why we have this Boolean here is because if this for loop gets broken out of, right? So if we break out of this for loop, yield is gonna to return to you false. So it's gonna it's gonna to signal to you that this uh, loop has concluded or this loop is not looping anymore. And if you try to yield another value, you're gonna get a runtime error, right? So to fix this, what you have to do is you have to check if this yield is returning to you true or false. And if it's false, you just return, right? So in this example in range three, as you can see, we're checking if yield is false. If it's false, we can return. And let's run this. So as you can see, we got a one and that's it. Okay, so if you, so if you understood this code snippet and you understood this code snippet and you understood this code snippet, congratulations, you understand iterators.